Aloha and good afternoon. On behalf of Brigadier General David Zinn, Deputy Commanding General for Operations 25th Injury Division, welcome to today's Medal of Honor plaque unveiling ceremony in honor of Specialist 5 Dwight W. Birdwell. At this time, we would like to recognize our honored and distinguished guests in attendance today. Our guest of honor is Specialist 5 Birdwell, his daughter Stephanie Birdwell, his son-in-law Spike Bighorn, his granddaughter Willow Bighorn, and his granddaughter Raven Bighorn. We would also like to recognize our distinguished visitors at today's ceremony, General Retired David Bramlett, Casa Emeritus Alan Ho, Colonel Retired Charles Cardinal, and Mrs. Rosalie. Please join me in a round of applause to welcome our honored and distinguished guests. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation delivered by the 25th Infantry Division Deputy Chaplain Major Pete Stone and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. I invite you to pray with me. God in heaven, we pause to thank you for the gift of Mr. Birdwell's life and what he did to protect the lives of those around him on January 31st, 1968. Thank you for his valor and selfless spirit on that day and how it symbolizes the very best of all we want to be and become for our nation and for each other, not just as soldiers, but as people. And by your grace, may we honor Mr. Birdwell's heroism with our service today whether we wear a uniform or not. And God, one more thing. If you send lightning, please make it tropic lightning, just like you did on January 31st, 1968. Amen. Please be seated. The Medal of Honor is the United States' highest award for military valor in action. The medal is authorized for any military service member who distinguishes themselves conspicuously by gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of life and beyond the call of duty. The true American heroes we honor and memorialize here today epitomize the very values that every Medal of Honor recipient displayed in the moments that mattered. Bravery, courage, sacrifice, and integrity. At this time, please join me in welcoming to the podium our host for today's ceremony, Brigadier General David Zinn. Ladies and gentlemen, aloha, good afternoon in Tropic Lightning. Thank you for joining us on this very important occasion. I, I would like to once again recognize our distinguished guests, General Retired David Bramlett, sir, we're honored by your presence Thank you for being here. Civilian Assistant to the Secretary of the Army Emeritus, Mr. Alan Ho, sir, we're honored by your presence. Thank you for your continued support of our soldiers and our division. And Mrs. Rose Lee, ma'am, thank you for being here and continuing to support our soldiers in this division so strongly as a member of the Tropic Lightning Foundation. Also, of course, our guest of honor, Medal of Honor winner, Dwight Birdwell, and his family, his daughter Stephanie, son-in-law Spike Bighorn, and his granddaughters Willow and Raven, and Raven, excuse me. Thank you all for being here with us today. It is certainly fitting that we are having the unveiling this week. Only two days ago on March 25th was National Medal of Honor Day, a day in which recipients, the public and soldiers, all pause and reflect on the importance of service and sacrifice. And two days from now, on the 29th of March, 
is National Vietnam War Veterans Day, a day to thank and honor our Vietnam veterans and their families for their service and sacrifice. It can certainly never be said enough to Dwight Birdwell and all of our Vietnam veterans, thank you for your service and welcome home. Bravery, commitment, sacrifice, integrity, and courage in the face of overwhelming odds are all hallmarks, are all hallmarks of Medal of Honor recipients. Each of these characteristics are embodied by Specialist 5, Dwight Birdwell. While this division's legacy does not begin with the Vietnam War, the Vietnam War holds a significant place in time, a time in which the nation called and the Tropic Lightning Division answered. We are honored to say that 23 of our Tropic Lightning soldiers are Medal of Honor recipients for their heroic actions during the Vietnam War, including 17 of which were awarded posthumously. In 1963, the 25th Infantry Division initially entered the Vietnam War with the training and deployment of soldiers as part of the door gunner program. Over the course of the next two years, the division would see an ever-increasing number of soldiers join the war before it was officially called to action in 1965. The division's three brigades began deploying to Vietnam in December 1965, two by sea and one, the Bronco Brigade, by air in what was codenamed Operation Blue Light. Once on ground, they immediately set to establishing base camps and began operations in earnest. During the first two years of involvement in the Vietnam War, our division pursued the enemy aggressive, aggressively, aggressively, and defeated them in every engagement. It was in 1968 that the Tropic Lightning Division would face its greatest test during enemy offensives centered around the Vietnamese New Year of Tet and what would become known as the Tet Offensive. During the Tet Offensive, Viet Cong forces focused on attacking urban centers in mass across South Vietnam with the intent of stretching American and South Vietnamese forces to the limits and facilitating a popular uprising by the people of South Vietnam. On January 31st, 1968, the enemy began attacking in full force with one of its targets being the Tan Sonut Air Base. The air base, which contained some of the most important military facilities in the country and served as the country's main international airport, was within the division's area of operations. In the early morning hours of 31 January, the Viet Cong laid siege to the airfield, pinning down defensive positions with direct and indirect fire attacks from nearby factories, setting the stage for advancing forces to breach the perimeter. While American and South Vietnamese forces were able to maintain a defensive posture and keep the Viet Cong at bay, it was clear that they needed support. The Tropic Lightning Division received an order to deploy any mechanized units they could to the air base immediately and the unit that answered the call that day was the 3rd Squadron, 4th Cavalry Regiment. 3-4 Cav immediately responded and sent M48 tanks and M113 armored personnel carriers to the airbase. Upon arrival, they were met with intense enemy fire. It is in this moment that Specialist 5 Birdwell took action. His unit bore the brunt of a brutal enemy assault which quickly incapacitated Birdwell's tank commander and severely wounded his company commander. In fact, every armored vehicle in the company was either destroyed or disabled in the first few minutes of that combat action. Specialist 5 Birdwell, under heavy fire throughout the entire ordeal, assumed command of the vehicle after moving his commander to a place of relative safety. At this point, Birdwell realized he was the first line of defense and used every weapon at his disposal. The tank's cannon, machine gun, and his personal rifle to repel the enemy onslaught and defend his comrades. Throughout the ordeal, Birdwell remained exposed, communicated the situation to his squadron commander who was flying overhead in helicopter, by the way, shot down on four separate occasions, mounting an additional helicopter, 
and eventually expended all the ammunition at Birdwell's disposal to defend his position. As I read his citation, and we're going to hear that here in a few minutes, I picture a young Specialist Birdwell in the tank's hatch at the front of a vicious enemy attack, alternating weapons, and doing everything in his power to defend his fellow soldiers. The image is moving, and I think leaves all of us simply amazed. As the attack progressed, Birdwell expended his ammunition and defended the position. Without ammunition and having his communication systems destroyed by enemy fire, Birdwell was forced to dismount the tank and maneuver to a downed helicopter where he secured two machine guns, additional ammunition, and continued to suppress enemy troops. This incredible story continues as Dwight Birdwell received shrapnel wounds and continued to distribute ammunition to fellow soldiers and then led a small group of defenders to engage the enemy with hand grenades. Ladies and gentlemen, this story humbles and inspires me, and I believe that stories like Birdwell's heroic actions will continue to inspire future generations of soldiers to tackle insurmountable odds. Dwight Birdwell's courage and commitment to his fellow soldiers are sterling examples for every soldier and leader to emulate. I'm certainly proud and humbled to stand here today in honor of Dwight Birdwell. On behalf of the division, I would like to convey our heartfelt appreciation and gratitude to the 25th Infantry Division Association for all they have done and continue to do for the division and our soldiers. Colonel retired Charles Cardinal is here. Sir, thank you for being here and, and for your support of the association. The United in Sacrifice Memorial that stands in front of us, the Brick Memorial, and this Medal of Honor plaque that we will unveil shortly are all contributions from the association that, that honor the history and the legacy of the division and serve as a way for soldiers, families, and veterans to remember those who came before us. The United in Sacrifice Memorial was erected in 2006 and symbolizes heroes from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and the global war on terror coming together to pay tribute to their fallen comrades. The memorial is dedicated to the memory of Tropic Lightning soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of their country. It is certainly a place of honor, a place of remembrance, and a place of healing. The Medal of Honor plaque honors the division's 43 Medal of Honor recipients. Over the years, the memorial has grown as names have been added. Today, we add the name of Specialist 5 Dwight Birdwell as a permanent addition to this memorial. While this is a reminder of actions so many years ago, it also serves as a way to honor the courage, commitment, sacrifice, integrity, and patriotism of all of our soldiers. Sir, I want you to know that we are proud of you and the example that you set for our Tropic Lightning soldiers. Thank you for your service, and thank you to everyone here today for attending. Tropic Lightning, be all you can be, this will defend. The 25th Infantry Division Association was created by veterans of the division in 1949. The purpose of the association is to unite all members of all generations of that great fighting team, the 25th Infantry Division, to sustain the legacy of valor and excellence that is the Tropic Lightning Division, and to support all soldiers who have earned the right to wear the Tropic Lightning patch, and their families, past, present, and future. As a subsidiary of the 25th Infantry Division Association, the 25th Infantry Division Memorial Fund was created when the leadership of the division approached the 25th Infantry Division Association during the division's first deployments in support of Operation Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom in 2004 and ask her help in creating a division memorial to the soldiers killed in action. Without hesitation, the veterans of the division stepped up to serve, and in just two years, the association was able to raise the funds to create and install the poignant 
united by sacrifice memorial that now overlooks the formations that assemble on Wayne Field. Since 2006, the 25th Infantry Division Association and its memorial fund have continued to raise funds that have allowed the addition of a female warrior to the memorial on Schofield Barracks, a duplicate memorial located at the National Infantry Museum in Columbus, Georgia, the renovation and relocation of the Division Medal of Honor Memorial on Wayne Field, as well as continued upkeep of all the Division's memorials to ensure they remain a fitting remembrance of the service and sacrifice of Tropic Lightning soldiers of all generations. This afternoon, we will be unveiling the Medal of Honor plaque inducting and honoring Specialist 5 Dwight W. Birdwell. Specialist 5 Birdwell distinguished himself by acts of gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty while serving with Troop C, 3rd Squadron, 4th Cavalry, 25th Infantry Division in the Republic of Vietnam on January 31, 1968. On this date, a large enemy element initiated an assault on the Tan Son Nut Air Base near Saigon. Specialist Birdwell's unit bore the brunt of the initial attack, which resulted in the disabling or destruction of many of the unit's vehicles and the incapacitation of his tank commander. Specialist Birdwell, under heavy enemy small arms fire, moved the tank commander to a place of safety and assumed control of the vehicle. Realizing his tank was the first line of defense for the troops, he used its cannon, machine gun, and his rifle to place effective fire on the enemy force. From the exposed position of the tank commander's hatch, Specialist Birdwell engaged the enemy with machine gun fire and provided situation reports to his squadron commander until the communication systems became damaged due to enemy fire. After having expended all of his ammunition, Specialist Birdwell dismounted and maneuvered to his squadron commander's helicopter, which had been downed by enemy fire, and retrieved two machine guns and ammunition, with which he and a comrade suppressed the enemy. When his machine gun was hit by enemy fire and exploded, resulting in wounds to his face and torso, Specialist Birdwell refused evacuation and moved amongst the disabled vehicles in defensive positions, collecting ammunition to distribute to the remaining defenders. While under harassing fire, Specialist Birdwell led a small group of defenders past the enemy force and personally engaged the enemy with hand grenades, which disrupted their assault until reinforcements arrived. Upon receiving reinforcements, Specialist Birdwell aided in evacuating the wounded until he was ordered to seek attention for his wounds. Throughout the entire engagement, Specialist Birdwell repeatedly placed himself in extreme danger to protect his team and to defeat the enemy. His extraordinary heroism and selflessness beyond the call of duty were in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army. At this time, we will now unveil the Medal of Honor plaque. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in another round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the Tropic Lightning March and the Army Song. You can find the words to these songs on the back of the program.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Thank you for your attendance. Traffic lightning.